Greetings, mortals, and welcome. Please present your tickets for validation. Thank you. Your existence has been acknowledged, and you have been granted access every Thursday and Friday. You will be accompanying your guides, Krista and Randy, along with their world-renowned guest. They will be exploring an intriguing tendril of what humans refer to as reality each week. As they strive to advance you further down the path to the truce of your physical earth and what lies on the other side. Remember to please keep your hands and feet in the vehicle at all times and do not exit until the craft has come to a complete stop. <laughs> Hello, hello. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Woohoo, Friday. Yeah, it, I, you know, before we get started, I just want to tell everybody happy Easter because okay. uh, we're not going to see you till next week. So happy Easter. Yeah, I hope everybody has a great Easter and uh, gets to do what they want to spend it with family, friends, that whole nine yards. Exactly. What are you doing? Um, Sunday, I'm going to be at home and, um, some of my family is coming here. So I'm excited. Awesome. awesome. Same here. I'm, I'm actually cooking. Oh my not. goodness. I know. Right. I'm making it. And thank I got, goodness I'm not. <laughs> got the kids coming, all the good stuff, you know? Right. Right. That's always fun. You know, it's, it's, it's fun. For sure. For sure. And we got a lot of people that are starting to roll in. Appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. Let's see, there's Gary, there's Ristol, there's Val. I won't miss anybody. Werewolf. That's Glenn. Hello. Let's see. Amy, hello. Uh, Rock and Rory, hello, hello. Uh, looking through. Be kind. Good to see you. Try not to miss anyone. Oh, Brandy Bonds and Booze. I wonder who that gal is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, Mr. G rides Gregory. Hello. It's good to see you. Glenn, I think I said your name already. I think I did. I'm kind of losing it. Moon at noon. Hello. Uh, Roger Blair. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Greg Ogles. Oh, Mr. Greg Ogles. I think I just talked to him like 10 minutes ago. I, I, I I think we did, like, yeah, like five <laughs> minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. Jason Finch, hello. Good to see you. And let's see. You're a doc They're fossil. rolling in now. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Pancho, good to see you. Glad you can make it. Um, Auntie Honey, hello. Uh, Puck Elf, Peace Frog, hello. Wendy Sue, hello, hello. She says her alter ego tonight. <laughs> Lulu Bell. Wow, there's a lot of you guys in here. Smoro. And sorry if I missed anybody. I apologize, but it, it refreshes. Yeah, moon, at me. moon at Noon, moon Jason Finch. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, yes. Anyway, everybody, for sure. Bow hello. show. <laughs> Tonight, we thought, you know what, we're just going to do a light, easy show. It's just Brandy and I, so we're going to talk a little monsters. We're going to talk some music, maybe a little serial killers. or And we're going to tell you an interesting thing that happened to us at the LBL two weeks ago. Yeah, strange, it was to weird. say the least. It was you know, weird. and we're going to talk a few, you know, little stories that have happened to us in the past. And so it, it ought to be fun. So everybody yeah. can uh, chime in on some of these questions. Yeah, yeah. Put your two cents in. Poncho <laughs> says, blondes and booze, only eight ticks after a full day of hiking the property. Oh, ticks. That is That's not my thing. I don't yeah. do ticks. Well, you know, and I have to say something. Mm -hmm. I wear pantyhose. That's what they I say. I wear too. pantyhose. Mm -hmm. And they work. You know, because I'd rather pick a tick out of my armpit than in my privates. <laughs> just saying, just saying. <laughs> Very true. 
Too bad we can't get, you can't make pantyhose that go all the way up to like your chin. You know, know? like a bodysuit? Yeah. Wouldn't that be, hey, maybe we should copyright that and, and make there some and, and see if they go. Just just make a bodysuit of it. Blondes, blondes tick proof bodysuits. <laughs> blondes bodysuits. Blondes bodysuits. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Repel ticks, <laughs> mosquitoes, and other unwanted right. pests. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Hey, Letitia's in chat. Hello, Letitia. Hey, hey. Good to see you. Good to see you. Anyway, um, just go through the lineup and, and then we'll just get started. Absolutely. No problem. On Mondays at 7 p.m., it is Danielle Diva in the Diva Dimension. At 8 p.m. Central, it's Texas Front Porch. And with your hostess with the mostest, which is me. And then that guy named Tex, I know, I know, but it's me. <laughs> Just kidding. On Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Central, it is Beyond BMR with his bestest host, Krista, of course. Always Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Central. On Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central, Donnie Cho says stuff at 8 p.m. Central. Of course, it's in Humanoids with Barton Nunley and his wife, Letitia, starting new she just had her first episode last week, but at 7 p.m. on Thursday evening, 7 p.m. Central, it's Monica Rollins and our, what was that? Oh, my God, I'm going to get this out. Our Paranormal World. I'm going to get that mixed up. Yeah, our Paranormal World. <laughs> on, uh, of course, we come on at 8 p.m. Central, Blondes and Booze. And on Friday, 7 p.m. Central, we come on again, Blondes and Booze, which we're here right now. On Saturday, it's Paranormal Among Us with Paul and Krista when she can get on there, which she's been on there quite a bit. Uh, they make a great duo, so you might want to check them out. On Sundays at 5 p.m. Central, it is Randy Gilbert and myself with Truth or Tinfoil. If you've not liked, subscribed, or hit that notification button on that channel, please do because we are no longer streaming through Texas Front Porch. Uh, Sunday nights at 6 p.m. Central. It's in Humanoids with Texan Danielle Diva. Not in Humanoids. Infamous Minds. Infamous Minds. I'm so in sorry. Humanoids is Wednesday Night Show. Bar Wednesday Night Show. See, this is what's happening. This is what's happening. Uh, Our lineup is getting so big that I can't keep them straight. This is then, a new one, folks. It's a new one. And then Paranormal Roundtable. Oh, yes. Paranormal Roundtable. Of course, they do their podcasts on Tuesdays and Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Central, Friday nights at 8 30, 9 o'clock. They do their live show. Mm -hmm. Saturday night, he has his alien abduction and alien story show. I don't know exactly what he's named that yet, um, but that is on at 8 p.m. Also on Saturday evenings and on Sunday between 7 30 and 8 o'clock, he has his other live show. So you have many, many, many things to watch. Yes, yeah. It's the new TV. It is. You know it what is. I mean? Yep, it's, absolutely it is. Yeah, I mean, I, mean it, I don't even watch regular TV anymore. I don't either. I watch YouTube all the time. And it's like, I try to watch when my friends are live. I don't always like, for instance, Josh. Josh will go on like late sometimes and I have to get up mm -hmm. and go to work. So I can't watch the whole thing. So I'll have to watch it the next day at work where I left off, mm -hmm. you know, type thing. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, so I don't, I don't, I'm like you though. I don't watch any TV, very little. Well, and then you've, you've got to figure that five nights a week we do shows. Yes. You and I do, do most of them together. Some we don't, but this mm -hmm. is what happens is that we go to work, then we come home, we do what we need to do with the family and then we've got to do shows. This is, right. you know, and so we don't have time to watch everybody's show. We have to wait till our days off to catch up. I, yep. you know, it, yep. it's, it, it's hard. It, 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 is. it is very hard. It is. It's, Fortunately at work, I can, I can listen, you know, so I'll go back and listen to, you know, like you and text on Tuesday morning, you know, I'm listening to you and text for Monday night, you know? So right. Just, right. And see, yeah, and I literally have to wait till my days off. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's hard to it's hard to catch it all in, you know. And and yes, on Saturday nights, on Saturday evenings, I am going to start co-hosting with um, Paranormal Paul on uh, Paranormal Among Us. Um, okay. When, when I'm home on weekends, so and he, nice. and he knows that, you know, when I can, I definitely will hop on with him. So yeah. Oh, that is so cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's just another night you're adding to your lineup. <laughs> right. But what do I do on weekends anyway? Seriously. You talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, and that might change because I just told you something backstage that I'm pretty excited about. So we right. just, 
I believe me and my husband are, are going to um, get in a, a little place in the middle of nowhere um, if the few acres. So I'm kind of excited about that, but we'll talk, we'll talk later about that. Right. Right. Big footing place. Yes. Nice. You know, it'll be nice and, and, and quiet maybe. Right. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, absolutely quiet. And Pancho's talks about Ashmore. Let's talk about Ashmore real quick, Brandy. Yeah, ab absolutely. Uh, it is going to be uh, on May 18th, but it runs through the wee early hours of the 19th. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be starting somewhere around 11 or 12 o'clock and we're going to have speakers throughout the afternoon and then that evening we're going to feed you and then we are going to ghost hunt until 2 a.m. So it's going to be a fantastic day. Uh, we have Rob and Terry. We have uh, 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 blah, 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 blah. No, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we have Rob and Terry going to speak for us. We're going to have Josh Hurd that's there from Malvern Manor. And if anyone went with us uh, to last year's Malvern Manor event, you know He's who awesome. he is. Really cool guy. You're going to love him. Uh, Jessica Potter, who is a psychic medium, She's is awesome. going to be there. And she is really cool. Um, and then we have uh, Rachel Marie, which is her friend, which she's super cool in herself and, and a really good uh, paranormal investigator. Uh, our very own Paul Anthony, which was from Paranormal Among Us, he's going to be there. And Letitia, who said she'd never do it, but she's going to do it. Yeah. yeah. So we're, you know, if that is not worth the whole day is to take that lady into <laughs> a known haunted location. Right. Right. Nothing is. Right. So, Absolutely. you know, like I said, you know, if, if it's worth anything, go to see Letitia because this is going to be great. Yes. <laughs> Poor Letitia. Yeah. You know what, though? <laughs> really, Ashmore, there, I don't think there's anything negative there. I've been there a there, lot. There isn't. You I've know, we the there's a. Go through there. I mean, I, I just, and believe me, I don't let my kid go and just have at it. At right. There's a, there's location. a, there's a grumpy, there's a grumpy there. It's pretty nothing, grumpy. Yeah. But you know, no, there's there's no biting here, pulling, scratching, you know, no. nothing that you would consider um huh. evil. No. I just, just don't know what to say. Evil. Isn't it? You know, it's it's really just not a bad place. Yeah. It's 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 uh it's actually one of the best place places to start yeah. uh to go ghost hunting if you've never been. This right. is one of those places that that it, it, it's a good starter. It, it really is. is a good starter. It is. And what's really cool too, you know, and I told Letitia, I said, you don't have to go stop because there is a fire pit. It's got a nice outside area and, uh, uh, you know, you can hang out there too. So. Yeah. There's picnic tables out there and all kinds of stuff, yeah. you know, um, alien, uh, um, uh, well, I shouldn't say aliens, but, um, lights have been spotted out there <laughs> from, UFOs. uh, UFOs. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say UAPs, but I really, you know, UFOs. Like that where's that? That's yeah. what I know. I'm gonna stick with what I know. It's UFOs. Right. UFOs. And, and then, um, right, right. So I'm thinking you could always do that too. And of course, we're gonna have Terry Mosby there, which he's CE5 out of Illinois, mm -hmm. and um, she's very knowledgeable in everything out there. Um, she is also one of the tour guides. Yeah. So. You know, if you want to know anything about about that area, she will know. She would definitely yeah. know. But you can uh, uh, purchase your tickets on Eventbrite. Just look under Blondes and Booze, and it should be the first event that pops up. Yeah. And Pancho, there should be, um, I think there is Campfire Wood there. I think Robin Terry keeps it there. For yeah, he does. Cool. He does. Yeah. So, Especially if we request it, and we will. Yes, absolutely. So it's a, it's going to be a fun night, and... Um, definitely come join us because we've got some great people. And I'll tell you what, like never met Josh Hurd, like Brandy said, he's a, he is a blast and he's a lot of fun as is um, Jessica Potter, the mermaid medium. I mean, Oh she's my gosh. Yes. And she is the one that actually told me about my first Bigfoot encounter that I didn't know it was my Bigfoot encounter. I hadn't even thought of Bigfoot and it was, it's, she's incredible because this is where I became a true believer in her abilities is um, she, she approached Kathy as many of you guys have been met Kathy. She's been on our show a few times. She runs the Ray County museum and uh, Kathy and I, we shared a camper together and it was, it was parked out in Lexington, Missouri. And there was just one night I went outside. I used to smoke 
went outside to smoke and, and uh, sitting out there smoking. I had my big dog. I have an English Mastiff and took him out with me. And that dog, I will tell you, my that dog doesn't like just bark all the time. He doesn't. And at the time he was still puppyfied and um, he just didn't bark. And that night he started growling in towards, towards the woods. And I felt like something watching me. So I got nervous and I went inside and I, I woke Kathy up. I'm like, come outside. And, and this air, this particular place, you know, where we were, um, it's known for ghosts and we've done ghost things there as Brandy can attest to. So, mm -hmm. but it was, it was different. It was not ghost. It was just weird because ghosts don't scare me. I was getting creeped out. Walk outside. I was like, Kathy, come outside. Just tell me what you feel. And Kathy's like, whoa, it's just weird out here. She goes, I don't like it out here, you know? Mm -hmm. So she went back in. We went back in, brought the dog in and locked the door. Didn't think no more about it. We even laughed about it. We said, you know, hey, it's probably a raccoon, you know, watching us. Didn't think nothing mm -hmm. else of it. Seriously. Fast forward six months. Never even posted nothing on Facebook. I mean, there was no way. It was just a conversation she and I had. Didn't even tell anybody mm -hmm. else. And then Jessica Potter, Mermaid Medium, we had an event we were doing um, at that location. And uh, she, she asked me, she said, tell me what happened over in that area. And she said, I see a camper, not that camper. Because at the time, there was... Uh, it was our camper, but I, we had since moved it. It was, there was a different camper that was parked there. She said it was a different camper, which I'm like, holy crap. Okay. You got that. And she said, your dog, I see your dog. And then I see you backing in to a camper. And, and I mean, Kathy looked at each other like, whoa, you know, and we're like, yeah, we had a raccoon or something watching us. She said, no, you didn't. You had it. You had a Bigfoot. You had a Sasquatch watching you. Uh -huh. Whoa, you know? And so for her to pick up on just the, that it, there was a camper, but there was a different camper, you know, that was one thing that was kind of odd. And then for her to see the dog out there, because, you know, I've got three dogs, but she happened to pick up on my big dog. You know, I mean, just everything about that night was just weird. And she picked up on it. Mm -hmm. So I became a believer in her abilities and her gifts. All right. So, you know what I was just thinking, we have a friend, Josh, he's been on our show. Um, he uh, actually did an event out at the place that, that Krista is talking about. He did the event out there. He is a police officer up in that area. And he actually had a Bigfoot encounter uh, about eight miles from, from there. Yes. We need to have him back on and, and talk about that. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, that, I mean, just the way he tells it, it's just riveting. And, and uh, yeah. there's a, we have a lot of new viewers since he's been on. I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah, I'll see if I can reach out to him. Yeah, because I mean, and you know, he's got a few other stories. I mean, being a first responder in anything, you've got stories. I'm just saying, any any first responders out there, my hats off to you because I know, I, I just, I just know. Absolutely, absolutely, Auntie Honey, welcome, welcome, welcome. And um, so yeah, you know that. Mm -hmm. I think we're onto something right there because they're, the, you know, the whole Momo thing. I mean, it's it's like, come on. Mm -hmm. There's got to be something to it. You know, you hear all the stories, but not everybody can be wrong. Right. Absolutely. Not everybody can be wrong. So, and his, his encounter, like he even, he, people in his department, like said, oh, it didn't happen. Said, you know, he was full of SHIT and, you know, all of that and that. He went and actually um, paid for and had a lie detector done on himself. Yes. The proof. And he's got the proof of it. And it and showed no deception. Yes. Yeah. So. You know, and, and like I said, his story is so descriptive. I mean, yes, he got a really good Earth look at view. this thing. Yeah. And um, yeah. yeah, we need to have him on. We mm -hmm. So everybody keep watching for that one. Cause it's just, it's a story you can't get over really. Yeah. Hey, Brandy. Yes. Cucumbers or radishes. I'm going to say cucumbers because <laughs> I hate radishes. I, I, you know, I mean, I can, I can hand them in little doses, you know, but this, you know, this is the, this is what the show is about. Hey, what does everybody else think? Cucumbers or radishes? Which one would you rather have? Yeah. Drop your, drop your answer in chat. <laughs> exactly. I like cucumbers. I like cucumbers with ranch. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I've got one for you. I got one for you. Okay. Late night movies. Would you rather have cookies or popcorn? Mm. Can I pick that? It's not like salty and sweet. I know. <laughs> that one's tough. <laughs> yeah. Let's say, you know what? I'll go with popcorn. 
Popcorn. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. I, for a movie, it's just popcorn seems like it should be it. But you yeah. know, then you, you know, you eat that popcorn and you're like, I, I gotta have something sweet. So you go after that cookie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everybody so far is saying cucumbers. Yeah. And then we've got too. cookies and popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. Popcorn seems to be winning on that one. Yeah. Popcorn, I think, is, is winning on that one. And definitely cucumbers won on the other one. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, so we're going to be popping these questions, you know, the whole show. So Randomly. everybody be ready and, and put your thank you caps on, and, you know. Throw um, your two cents in, too, because, you know, we want to hear what you guys <laughs> what right. You guys like right. You know, but as you were talking about that, you, you know, about Ashmore and you were saying mm -hmm. that, um, you know, that it's not really, you know, you, you don't feel anything bad there. Mm -hmm. You don't feel anything scary. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you a little story. And I've told this a long time ago, but I'm going to tell it again because this one really freaked me out a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, we were investigating um, a theater again. It's the one that I that I had several, several years with here in town, which which makes it really good for me because then that that just makes it solidifies everything that I'm catching for evidence. But we were there was two of us in the bathroom and they had this sighting of somebody that they. Uh, you know, they call it like a peeping Tom or, 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 you know, or something like that, that would just hang out in the bathrooms, you know, they mm -hmm. would just go from the bathrooms and then you would hear like the doors open or you would hear, you know, uh, one of the, the, the toilet lids being lifted oh, or, wow. or just being dropped, you know? So we sat in there and, and we're talking, there was two of us and we're sitting there and we're like, you know, Let's figure out if if any of these if if any of these claims are true. Can we debunk this? Yeah. Can we do this? Can we do that? Well, from all the claims that we we tried to debunk, we couldn't. So we're like, okay, it, there there's no windows in this bathroom. We're gonna close the door. We're gonna shut off all the lights. We're gonna see what happens. So as we're sitting there, we're sitting against the wall and we're facing two sinks on the other side of the wall. Now there's probably about mm, four and a half five feet in between us mm -hmm. and the sinks. But there were chairs there. So we were sitting in the chairs and, you know, and we're sitting there sitting, and nothing's happening and nothing is, nothing is happening. So I had my legs crossed in front of me and kind of out a little bit. And the next thing you know, I look down and then I see a pin light just kind of like pop real quick right at my feet. Now Ooh. it's pitch dark in this place and my equipment is nowhere near my feet because I never put it there because I don't want to step on it. Great. So this pin light kind of went and I'm like, oh my God, I just saw that, you know, and I, she's asking me what I saw. And I told her, I said, this little pin light, blah, blah, blah. I said, little flash of light. So about a few minutes later, and then I'm talking to her and I said, you know what? I said, I am not feeling well in here. I'm not. I said, I think I want to get up and, and get out of here. I said, I'm not feeling well. She goes, okay. So she turned her flashlight on, which it's, I wouldn't say it was a flashlight. It's called more of a lantern thing. She just pulled up her lantern in there and it was, it was kind of a bright lantern, but it lit up the whole bathroom. And when it did right at that specific moment, when she flicked it on, there was a gray mass that was standing in between her and the, the, the sink in the bathroom sink. Oh, wow that was in front of her. Now this thing was probably about five, eight to six foot tall. You know, it had, it had no definition. You know, I couldn't say if it was man, woman or what it was. It was just yeah. a total black mass. And she screamed at that point. And, you know, she said some words that we're not going to say on here. And, <laughs> um, you know, she started backing me out, but she's staring at it and backing up with me and I'm trying to open the door because I, I you know, I don't want to put my back to it either, you know, because as soon as she saw it, it disappeared just like that. And I caught the glimpse of it when it disappeared. And, you know, and she's, she's yelling at it going, you know what? That's not nice. You do not do that. And she's being very firm with this thing mm -hmm. that, you know, you can't do that. You know, wow. that was too close too much because not only was it affecting me you right. know and it wasn't making me feel well it popped up like i said we only had about four feet three and a half four feet in between her and the sink and it was right in between the two 
So it was like right in there. Wow. So, and, and she just screamed obscenities. And the whole great thing about that whole entire thing, I caught everything on audio. That's awesome. Everything. So um, that awesome. right there, that's, a, that's too much for me. That's more than grumpy. You know what I mean? That's right. a little more than grumpy. That's some. That's that's. It's not demonic. I'm not going to say that. But the, I don't. I don't even know what to call that. You know, really. Yeah. But because it was affecting the way I was feeling, and then it it you know it appeared in a black mass. Mm -hmm. So it was very uh, strong at that point. So sure. it was energized, and it could have been from her and I. Yeah, could very well have been. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So. Um, you know, but she was very firm and, and she, she was telling it, nope, you're not doing that. You're not allowed. And yeah. I guess to say that when you're ghost hunting, if something does like that, happen like that, you should always say, Hey, look, no, back off. You're too oh, close. Yeah. Whatever. There's so many just times to I've firm. told them to back off. You have to, you know, it's, yes. it's your, it's your space. You don't want, you know, a living person right in your space either. You know? No, no, then, you don't. You know, and so. the thing is, is that it's not always bad, a bad thing, a bad spirit or a grumpy spirit. It right. could be just, they're so excited. Hey, they see me, you know, I know they're feeling me. So I'm going to get closer to them because I'm so excited. You know, I, you know, I'm finally being able to communicate and then that does happen. That Absolutely. does happen, but just be firm and set your boundaries anyway. Absolutely. There's one thing here. Love cat says to you for Brandy, speaking of pantyhose, do you remember a company called Fredericks of Hollywood? I remember they I, used to sell a whole body stocking that might help against ticks. I do remember that. Uh, you know what? We need to look that up. Let me let me write that down. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it has to be that not the not the tights. It has to be the thick tight pantyhose. You know, yeah. um, the, like the old ones. And Fredericks of Hollywood probably has it mm -hmm. if if they're still out there. Yeah, I do remember Fredericks of Hollywood. I do too. They had some kind of um, raunchy type, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, boudoir outfits. Yeah. Let's just call it that. Yep. Wow. All uh, right. So, yeah, I'll have to remember. I'm going to look that up later because now, now I want to know if they're still even because the, you know they used to be in like every mall. You yeah. know they they did. They used to be in every mall, and it was a little small boutique that they had. Yep. You know, it wasn't like Victoria's Secrets or anything. It was just a little small boutique that they had. Um, yeah. And it was, it, yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to uh, tell, let's talk about what happened two weeks ago at the LBL. Oh, uh, yeah. This is very strange because this yeah. all began, this all began uh, Friday night. See, and it I did. wasn't there. It did. So we, uh, a lot of you know we were at the LBL a couple weeks ago, and um, with our friend Greg Ogles film, uh, uh, is filming a documentary there that will be out in December. And I'm going to tell you guys, you guys are not going to want to miss this this documentary. But let me tell you the story first. So Friday night we had um, we had burgers and uh, hot dogs, and I made some macaroni and cheese in a um, what do you call it? What's that cooker? It's a little little cooker thing here. So anyway, we ate. Everything was fine. So to use that pan the next day, you know, obviously it has to be washed. So there was some macaroni and cheese left in it. So I went out behind the cabin. We all stayed in cabins. I went behind the cabin and I, I dumped it out there, but I dumped it a little ways out and it was daylight. It was the next morning. I went and dumped it. We were bad. We didn't dump our food that night before, but it was that next morning. It was broad daylight. Went out there, you know, dumped the food. And I was thinking, oh, you know, raccoons or something will get it. No big deal, right? Right. Yes, Anna, you did miss macaroni and cheese on Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> you did miss it. I did too. Yes. Don't feel bad. Yes. So anyway, um, didn't think no, no more about it. You know, we went on about our business that day. <laughs> Sunday, this is a true story. Brandy was there. Bart mm -hmm. comes over. I believe it was Barton said, oh my God, you know, look, we, we got something, something get, was, we had a visitor in the night was his words. I believe he said we had a visitor in the night. Mm -hmm. We went over there and, and it's, this is very sad people, but it was weird. Um, there was where the macaroni and cheese was left for us was a dead cat. True story. And it had, 
and it had been dead. It had but been not, dead. But not been dead. Yeah, yeah they thought, not war, been dead there. Yes, war criminal um, estimated about three or four days. Right. And, um, yeah, so. Because you could smell it. You could smell it. You know, when when you guys found it, you could smell the, smell it that it has been dead for some, uh, you know, a few days. Yeah. And the, the weird thing was, is that it wasn't there the day before. No, it wasn't because exactly, it, I'm telling you, it was right where I dumped that macaroni and I would have seen it. I would have seen it. So mm -hmm. I think I gifted Bigfoot and didn't mean to gift Bigfoot. Right. Or something. I don't know. I don't Sounds know like what do you guys think in chat. Let me know because, you know, I don't know. It was just kind of creepy and I like cats. So it was really sad. It was really quite sad, actually. You know? Yeah. I mean, because you're, you're talking about. Oh, an yes. And I forgot about this. Letitia. But the crazy thing was she caught a black camera on the night before. She absolutely did. The, the, yeah. A black yes. cat. She caught a black yes. cat on the camera the night before. A black yes. cat comes up dead the next day, but yet this cat has been dead for three to four days. Right. So, and, and the thing is too, guys, you guys got to understand this is a campground. Obviously there could be cats out there. However, you don't see them. I've never seen a kitty cat walking around no. out there. No, the there, there's That's too many other there. animals that would probably, you know, kill yeah. them off and, and things like that. So I'm, I'm sure that they keep yeah. their distance. Yeah, it was just really, really weird, guys. And like Letitia said, it was in that same spot where she got the, um, it was on, what's her, what's her little thing called she got? Her, just, uh, her, uh, oh, Lord. Psionics. Psionics, yeah. Yes, it was through that. So anyway, guys, I don't know. It was, uh, it was just really odd. And um, yeah, it really wasn't my cooking because I got to say the macaroni and cheese was good. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean because it well you got you, she the night before you dumped that macaroni, she catches yeah. a black cat on the psionics, right? Yeah, she oh, and this is alive. Another thing. It was alive and running around. Oh. Yeah, and then yeah. but this particular cat had been dead for a few days, and the leaves were piled up like crazy. Like she's right on that. It was, I don't know. I, I don't know if I actually gifted a Bigfoot and it like gave me the cat back as like a thank you in a weird way, or if it was maybe a warning, like why would it give me a dead cat that's been dead for a couple of days? That was oh, yeah. just weird to me. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Well, yeah, JD Smooth. JD Smooth says, I think you did it and didn't know it could have been somebody else that started it before yeah. us that are throwing their food out there. Yeah. And um, yeah. when you threw it out there, they just brought you something back. Yeah. That's possible. And, and yes, the macaroni and cheese, there wasn't a trace of it left. Not a trace, Paul. So. And you would find a noodle or something. You yeah. know, animals, animals are really not that thorough. You know, they'll get down to the very end of it and then they'll yeah. scatter. Yeah, and then Letitia says, ran right in front of a deer. And de the deer never moved. I have video proof. Mm -hmm. She absolutely does. So I'm telling you guys, that was just so weird. And, uh, you know, when Bart said, you know, we had a visitor in the night, you know, I sure wasn't thinking anything like that. And, you know. I, You know, I, well, when, when he first said that, I was thinking, okay, well, the skunks came back, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> That's what the I was thinking. The skunks not going to leave us a dead cat. No, the skunks are back. But I didn't know about the dead cat. I just heard him say that. And I'm like, what? what? And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah it, was, it was really, really weird. I don't know. But I got to tell you guys. So uh, you guys have to tune in when this documentary comes out in December. It, I can't give away too much, but they captured things that these big time TV shows take 10 years to capture. That's all I'm going to say. Incredible, yeah. incredible evidence. And you guys are not going to want to miss it. Right. So as soon as we get the, the word from Greg Ogles and Rolex films, we'll let everybody know exactly when it's coming out. Yes, so. absolutely. We'll keep you all posted. <laughs> we'll do a, 
you know, we'll have Greg and, and Brent and them guys and Janice all on too, you know, beforehand. And, and if you guys come to the Alabama Bigfoot conference, I know he's going to, um, he's going to have a little preview of it there. Yes. So, yeah. That's going to be exciting. So, yeah, yeah. So we, you know, if we didn't even talk about that, but the Alabama Bigfoot conference is June 8th. Um, you know, like we have a great lineup of speakers. We also have Greg Ogles, who's going to be there and speak also. But we have Daryl Denton, Martin Groves, uh, Barton yeah. Nunley, Bigfoot Michigan Rob, Jason McLean, uh, myself and Krista in Texas going to be our MC. Um, mm -hmm. But this is going to be cool because we're going to be able to see it for the first time with everybody else. So I'm excited about it. So if yeah. you haven't got tickets for the Bigfoot uh, Alabama Bigfoot Conference, go to BamaBigfootConference.com. It's in Anniston, Alabama. There you go, at the Performing Arts Center. And um, it's very affordable to get to. And um, I, I mean, it's just going to be an awesome, great time. It's going to be a great mm -hmm. time. Sure is. It sure is. So yeah, I definitely come and see us, everybody and everybody else. It's a uh, Brotherhood of the Wolf meets Texas Front Porch. It's going to be interesting for sure. Yeah. Not like we don't hang out anyway. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a good time. But anyway, I just want to tell you guys about that little encounter we had at the LBL. And, you know, like I said, that whole weekend was a lot of weirdness. So definitely tune in to um, the film that Greg is putting out um, in December because there's some pretty incredible people on it, too. Got to tell you that, too. And, and I guess I can tell you Adam Davies is one of them because uh, – we actually did a on on location uh, sh show impromptu show with him. Yeah, we did an interview with him, and yeah. I was behind the I was behind the camera, which was odd. But yes. yeah, yes, yeah. but we did get it done. And yeah. um, if you've not, go back and watch that because it's very interesting. We haven't we haven't had, a, you know, I haven't seen an interview where he just talks about his stuff. You know. I mean, he's either talking about something specific that he's working yeah. on or blah, blah, blah. But this was kind of cool to ask him just oddball questions that you might want to know. Yeah. And like like Letitia <laughs> said, Adam is a riot. Love him. He is absolutely a riot. He is he is a fun guy. And, and uh, you know, we've we've here in the last year, Brandy and I've really got to know him. And, and we've spent mm -hmm. quite a bit of time with him at, at several different locations and different events and stuff. And he's just really a good guy. He really is. So mm -hmm. it's funny because I told him, you know, I watch, a, as you know, we just said, we watch a lot of YouTube. So I'll yeah. watch something and then sometimes I'll fall asleep and then, you know, different shows will just keep rolling and pop up. And it's either, I either wake up to Ken Gerhard because he's just about on every TV paranormal cryptid show or Adam Davies. It's one of them. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's one of those. Okay. One of them. All right. I got a question for you. I got okay. a question. This is because we watch YouTube a lot. Uh huh. <clears throat> Paranormal nightmare or small town monsters? Ooh. Oh, that's oh. tough. That's tough because you know you're talking either oh. one of our favorites in in the paranormal oh. community. And our friends. Which is, Heather's our friends. And then our friends. You know. I mean. Yeah. Ah, that's tough. That's, That's tough a one. Really tough one for me. Yeah, if anybody's into the paranormal, watch uh, watch Paranormal Nightmare. Um, they mm -hmm. they have a great show. Um, they're investigators. They do the tough stuff. You know, mm -hmm. they do the tough stuff. They go after demonic things. They go and cleanse and and all this other kind of good stuff. And they'll also tell you if you're BSing them too. So. Um, yes. Which a lot of a lot of them don't. It, I mean, a story is a story. Some of them just go after the story and try to get you know viewers or ratings or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but they do not. If it, yeah. if it's a hoax, they'll tell you it's a hoax. Oh yeah. You know, I think I'm going to have to agree with everybody. <laughs> small town monsters only because. Well, obviously Heather's our friend and she's been on the show several times. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm I'm gonna, gonna, I, I was going to pick it too. I was just like, just because. However, the they genuinely do like really good shows and, and yes. I, I don't fall asleep through their shows <laughs> and you know, some of the places that they go and the visit and they visit and the scenery alone, I don't care if you're into Bigfoot or not, it's worth watching. The story so, alone is, is, is yes. worth the watch. You know what I mean? And like you said, the scenery, the, the cinematography that they do is just out of this world. It, you can't, you can't yeah. fake that. You can't fake yeah. it. 
So Rich, the second choice was Paranormal Nightmare. And <laughs> let's, let's talk about them really quick. They are three yes. brothers um, <clears throat> and they go and they help people with negative hauntings. And, yes. and they do it through prayer. They're very, very religious. And um, they're they're one of our favorites. And uh, right. like tonight's Friday night, they'll put out a new episode tonight. But yes. um, uh, yeah, so... Yeah, they They're don't have any big production team. It's just no. the three brothers. Um, the and brothers. Yeah, the Foreman brothers. And like I said, it's just the three of them. And yeah. they do, like I said, they go after the tough stuff. They don't go after just, oh, well, you're hearing voices and footsteps. No, they go after the tough stuff. The things where people are being oppressed or, you know, uh, possessed and all. They go after that stuff, which is is fantastic if you've not watched them. You know, go go yeah. take a look. Go watch any episode. I don't care. Yeah. So this here, Rich says, I've never seen small town monsters, so I have to go with paranormal nightmare. They're small town monsters. You can't beat them, Rich. No. Nope. Absolutely. Nope. But if you want good anything from you know Bigfoot to UFO type things that they put out, I believe this weekend they have something with ghosts coming out. They're definitely worth um, going and subscribing to their yep. channel and watching for sure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Greg Ogle says, when Adam and I were at the Cracker Barrel, he was asking the waitress about the menu. She was trying to understand how he had never had biscuits and gravy. And I said, that is true story. So we had biscuits and gravy. I guess it was what, Saturday morning? At Saturday the morning. Yeah. And it was the first time Adam Davies had ever had biscuits and gravy. And he went back for seconds. <laughs> he liked biscuits and gravy. Well, you know what? I didn't see Adam miss much. I think he was enjoying it. He had all sure. these women cooking and all these baked goods and all these goodies. And he was just like in heaven. He's just like, Craig said, wow. Amy, I thought they were going to throw us out. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's so about right. And yeah, I mean, that could happen. <laughs> I was wondering if Adam and I were going to get thrown out of a place. <laughs> yep. Not so long ago. <laughs> yep. Like Letitia said, we had homemade biscuits and gravy at camp and they were really good. And uh, mm -hmm. it was just, you know, it just blew me away when he said, I've never had biscuits and gravy. I'm like, what do you mean you've never had biscuits and gravy? How long have you been in this country? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I could see, I could see Adam getting people thrown out. I mean, he almost did it to me. So Greg, I, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, Adam is from England. He is. And uh, yeah, it was just, it was just fun. We had a great time. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, that, that, okay. That brings me to the next question. Brings me to the next question. Biscuits or gravy or pancakes? Biscuits and gravy all the way. I Yeah, I'm biscuits and gravy. I'm definitely biscuits and gravy. Yep. What about you guys? I'm, Drop your I'm not a sweet inside. eater. I, I, I'm in the mornings. Really I, you know, in the mornings, I, I will take eggs, hash browns, you know, sausage, you know, but very rarely will I say pancakes, but I do like my French toast here and there, but yeah. it's some gravy, I'm going to say. Sure, says, pancakes. I love pancakes and gravy. I've never had pancakes and gravy. <laughs> I have not either, but really, of course, honestly, Paul is going to say pancakes. Bad. Yeah, Paul's going to say pancakes. You know what I'm saying? He's going to yeah. say pancakes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Paul did. He said pancakes. He's told me before he doesn't like like biscuits and gravy. Like, really? Who doesn't like biscuits and gravy, man? Right. Oh, so a restaurant that just reminds me of all kinds of other stuff. Okay, here's yeah. another story. Here's another story. So we're in the school, okay, and it's a, it it's still it still like is being used for certain functions, but it is no longer functioning as a school. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not going to say where this place is because this place is not open to the public. Anyway, so they do have things. They have like hooks going across to, uh, above the the sinks and um, the counters and things. And that's where they would hang the spatulas and the, the spoons and all their other cooking utensils. They would just hang in there. Mm -hmm. So as we're coming through, I'm hearing kind of uh, like a sound that's going eep, eep, eep. And I thought, what the heck is that? You know, and I'm looking, I'm looking at the pans. I'm looking at the floor. I'm like, could it be a mouse? It's possible. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. wherever there's food is, there's something. 
So I'm like, okay, where's this? Where's that? And I'm like, okay, am I seeing anything? So we walk out and there's a dim light in the back and it's kind of like a nightlight type thing. Uh, I, I wouldn't say it's an emergency light, but it's just a light that they keep on, that they have to keep on. And so the, I'm coming back through and there's like this, this uh, clear plexiglass window that's coming across it, you know? And so I'm looking at the stuff and I'm just walking on the outside of it. And then I turn back and I look and the next thing you know, one of those spoons that were hanging was doing this. It was just oh, swinging weird. back and forth, back and forth, just like that's this. Weird. And the thing was, is we hadn't been in there in probably about, oh, 10 minutes. You know, we came around the other side and was looking at the tables and all that other kind of stuff. Then we started hearing it come back to the plexiglass. So that took about 10 minutes to come back around. So yeah. there had been nobody in there and that thing wouldn't swing for 10 minutes. No, that's weird. Yeah. yeah. No, that's weird. Yeah. That is weird. I just thought, well, I mean, even cafeterias can be haunted. Absolutely. They can. Absolutely. Yes, they can. Absolutely. Uh, Smoky Mountain Wanderer says, okay, I'm listening. Took my pills for the stroke. I had feeling tired now. Well, Smoky Mountain Wanderer, we hope you feel better. We do. We do. You, uh, Letitia and Barter in chat, we'll add you to uh, the prayer list, definitely. Yes, you need it. Yeah, for sure. So people have been commenting. I think biscuits and gravy for the win. I think so, too. I think so, too, because, you know, there's nothing like a good biscuit because I could eat them at any time of the day. It doesn't have to be in the morning. Yeah. So Gary says, Letitia, I'll be cooking bacon or sausage and eggs and hash browns at the LBL every morning. Gary, I'm coming to visit you. <laughs> yeah, it's not that far. <laughs> no, don't don't tell me with that with that drive. We'll be able to hours. find you. I promise. We'll find you. <laughs> oh, BMR has it right here. We need a food channel. He's right. I also like hash browns smothered in gravy with eggs over easy side of Tabasco. I am right with you, minus the Tabasco. I always oh. rounds. Yes. And then somebody else in chat, Lolo, is talking about um chocolate gravy and biscuits. My dad oh. my dad you is know, from Arkansas too. Somebody said it's an Arkansas thing, but my dad's from there too. No. He grew up on it. It, 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 and it very well could be because my grandparents were from um southern Missouri, which is like <clears throat> 10 minutes basically from Arkansas. So um, yeah, and 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 chocolate gravy was a thing. And when I could eat chocolate, I tell you what, it, it is good. Now I can't eat it first thing in the morning, I'll tell you that. But yeah. it is good stuff. It is great. Yeah. If you get somebody who can really make it, mm-hmm. Yeah. Good stuff. Absolutely. Hey, my mom can make it. Crystal, you have to come down. My mom can yeah. make it. Okay. Yeah. She knows so how to make it. that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've never had it. I would like to try it. How oh, she makes it she makes it good. She hasn't made it in a long time, you know, because I don't eat it. Yeah. You know, I, I'm just I I can't, you know, it's chocolate. So she hasn't yeah. made that in a long time. So yeah, I'll, she'll probably be excited yeah. <laughs> to make some chocolate gravy. So we have two questions. Okay. Paranormal Paul says, What's your favorite barbecue? You know, that that's tough. That's tough because I'm sitting right between St. Louis and Memphis. Mm -hmm. And they're totally different. They're they're totally different. Mm -hmm. But I like each in its own way. I mean, I, I can't really say. I can't really say. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say St. Louis or Memphis. Those are those are my favorite barbecue. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's my favorite to barbecue. I'm like Kevin. I like pork steaks. And I like them smoked, not barbecued. You know, you put them on a smoker. Oh my god! Oh man. yeah. See, they now if we're talking heavy. cuts of meat, mine's country ribs. I, I would have to say country yeah, ribs. ribs are are good. My dad can make ribs better than anybody I've ever met, for sure. Right. Yeah, I like country ribs. I'm mm -hmm. I'm not a big uh, not a big baby bag. I think that's yeah. just a whole a whole lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> just for <Yeah>. nothing. <laughs> Werewolf says brisket and ribs. I'm not a brisket fan. A lot of people like brisket. I am not. I like it. I like it if it's cooked correctly. Now that's the ticket. If it's cooked correctly, I would I would definitely do that. Yeah. And Gary, I'm like you. I do like grilled chicken too. Absolutely like this. We got another really hard question. And we're going to answer. Oh. It. 
Okay. This is going to be difficult. Even worse than small town monsters and and paranormal nightmare. Okay. Glenn Dennison asked, Bigfoot, Michigan, Robert, Texas front porch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. And I'm going to answer it this way because it is the honest to God's truth. You really can't have one without the other. They're That's just kind of like, yeah, it's just. And I love them both in their own way, own special way. <laughs> they're special. They are special. <laughs> they're special. <laughs> um, no, I, I, you know, I really, I really wouldn't say one way or the other because, like I said, Bigfoot, Michigan, Rob, and Texas, Tex is yeah. that they're, they're just you can't have one without the other. Totally, honestly. Agree. Totally, absolutely agree. Yeah. Absolutely. I uh, just thought that was a funny question. I it, was. It, it was. It was tough. That's a tough one. I, you know, I can't, I can't even decide. I wouldn't even pretend to say on that one because I right. can't. Right. <laughs> yeah. We love them both. We truly do. And we're not just saying that. We really do. Uh, we really do. <laughs> they didn't even pay us to say that. Right. Right. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's funny. I'm uh I'm just reading through uh seeing what everybody's got to say. I mean, we're we're getting some really great conversations in there, which is really cool. Kevin asked um, what's Kevin, your take on oh I was gonna say ask what's your take on the eclipse? Yes. We talked about that yes. a little bit last night with uh with Josh and, and, and uh, Carter and Carter Bouchard, yeah. Yeah, we did, we did. You know, the the eclipse thing. It's it's hard for me to answer. Um, I, I I'm going to take it like I said last night. Like I'm going to take it like the full moon. Mm -hmm. It only it, yeah. you know the full moon happens you know every cycle. We all know this. Um, but I think some weird things are going to be generated by the eclipse. Um, mm -hmm. If you see maybe an uptick in in sightings or um, spirit activity or something like that, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. It would not surprise me. Yeah, I'm. I'm like you. I. I think it's just going to be another eclipse, honestly, and mm -hmm. um, you know, and maybe in, like Brandy said, maybe an uptick on some things. You know, more mm -hmm. UFOs or something might be seen, but I don't think the end of the world is going to happen that day. And you know, no. I don't believe we all need to run out and buy toilet paper. No, leave those paper towels alone. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. You know, but see, in my case, now I'm going I'm to tell you this. In my case, I am right in the path. And one of the, the main arteries this thing is to be traveling. They're talking about we are going to have an influx in my small little area of 40,000 yeah. plus people. Now, it is so bad that they're asking from the Chamber of Commerce and in our local newspaper if we have extra rooms or property available for people to camp or rent our spare bedrooms. This is no yeah. joke. This is no joke. So um, for me, it is going to be crazy that day. And, and like I said, I know what happens in full moons. I don't yeah. go out anywhere when it's a full moon. I stay at home. And um, if I, it, I, I don't know if I'm scheduled to work or not, but I hope to God I'm not because I'm not leaving my home at all yeah and see i'm working that day but you know what i'm i'm gonna go outside and watch it <laughs> yeah 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 I'll probably well, they be said the only one out there everybody knows i'm weird they, you know where i work so well <laughs> for the company i work for the company i work for this is a very big thing that they're actually going to close down the whole store and allow us employees to go outside to watch this yeah. thing so that's a big deal that's a big deal Bart says everyone so, should take this celestial event as seriously as the government is taking it. So, I I I think the government is using it as a money making yeah machine. Yeah. You know. Yep. I I think that's what they're doing. Um, like I said, you know, for our, my small little area, it, it this is a blessing for for our little area to get yeah. extra income, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
But like I said, I I live right on the edge of the Mark Twain National Forest. I'm scared about that, <laughs> you know, because yeah. like I said, I'm worried about that uptick in these little things happening out there. I mean, maybe maybe I need to go out there a couple days after and see what's going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just well, Nancy take a little says stroll. Interesting here. Uh, Nancy Dobbins says the whole state of Arkansas has closed all schools that day. Yeah, my daughter's school is closed that day also. Yeah. That's weird to me. I mean, like. Yeah. I, well, I like I said, they're worried about the influx of people um, in the town clogging up the roadways and things like that. That's going to make it impossible for these kids to get back and forth to school and all kinds of stuff. So they're trying to alleviate the congestion of traffic as best as they can um, mm -hmm. again. Because of the people paying that Very dollar to be, watching to be there. The LBL. Where? I didn't. I didn't know. Huh. Interesting. The LBL would be cool to watch it from. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, the 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 path goes right over my house. Every every model they've made, it goes right over my house. So um, if you can see it from the LBL. Cool. That yeah. that would be awesome. You know, the trees I would think would be uh, a hindrance a little bit, uh, depending well, on where you were standing. They've been preparing for it for two years. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Interesting. I don't know. That is interesting. So Kevin lives in St. Genevieve, not far from you, Brandy. Not too far. Uh, St. Genevieve is about two and a half hours from yeah, me. Not too far from any either of us, really. Yeah. Right. And it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I love St. Genevieve. Yeah. Oldest town in the U.S., he says. Huh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah I got an actual um, shingle from one of the houses that was supposed to be a witch's house. I got yeah. a, a shingle from one of those houses that they had to uh, retile because it was falling apart. Do what? They're, they took the shingles off the roof of the house and somebody had done art on these shingles yeah. and they were selling the shingles and they were, it's supposed to be a witch's house that they had taken these from. And I actually got one of those wooden, the wooden shingles. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. The original shingles. Yeah. It was really cool. It's got a little yeah. ghosty on it. So cute. <laughs> wow. Very cool. I, uh, I just been here reading comments yeah yeah there's lots of there's lots of missouri people here we have a lot yeah. of lots of people from missouri and from texas and actually all over honestly yeah yeah we are rocking missouri because werewolf i know is from missouri too yeah yeah poncho zorch is from missouri paranormal paul is missouri so there's several that i know of from missouri very cool i don't i don't know the the eclipse i'm I ordered my glasses and, and the girl, my girls have school because we had to sign permission slips for them. Oh, so, really? Yeah. For them to be able to go out and see it. And so I actually, they said that the school's got to have like glasses for them, but I went and I ordered some that I know that is decent quality, you know, right? Them, and myself. So I can go out and watch it too. So yeah. Well, Bernard. Yep. He's from Missouri too. I didn't realize Bernard was in chat. Very cool. Yeah. Right. So, I don't know, just... Uh, well, we got Kansas, Louisiana, uh, Pennsylvania, Kentucky. Texas. Yep, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Mickey says she's 20 minutes from Kansas City. Bart says, the path of this eclipse takes it right over 11 cities in the U.S. named... Nevada. Nevada. Huh. What? Texas, West Virginia, Erie, Pennsylvania, Texas. That's weird he says that. It's not like he's saying Springfield. Yeah. That's kind of an odd. Mm -hmm. That mm, That's kind of weird. Yeah. I don't know. It is weird. Sugar Birds says she lives in 80% of the view. Okay. Well, I'll have to look and see if I'll be able to see it. Yeah. See what the yeah, just I got I, I've got one hundred percent here. Now watch it rain and be cloudy. <laughs> BMR says bad. 
<laughs> BMR says, when I was 18, we were going to move to Missouri. Just think if I would have met y'all back then, our entire, <laughs> prior, I don't know the word, para, para, whatever, would be changed. Paradigm. Think, yeah, paradigm. That's it. Would be changed. Think about that one. I know. We could have been besties here. That's scary. Mm hmm <laughs> Yeah. Of course, he'd, he'd have probably been living over, you know, in Kansas City or something. Right. Where we're not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And J.D. Smooth says it spells God's name on the United States. Well, I don't know. Maybe there is more to it. I don't know. Yeah, you're that? right. It's April 8th, I believe. April 8th. It is April 8th. And uh, I have to look and see exactly what time. Wow. Okay, got another question for you. Oh, uh, Rob says, no, Brando, the Ozarks. Oh, that's been okay. That's not far from me. That's not far from me. That's about three hours. It's okay. Yeah, it's about an hour and a half for me. Yeah, that's cool. All right, got another random question for you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> um. 70s or 80s rock? Oh, you got you can't say that. That's that's two different rock eras. I know. <laughs> you know what? I'll go with the hair bands. I'll say the 80s. I'll say yeah. the 80s rock bands. I'll go with that. You know, I mean, even though I love the 70s rock, um, they, they did things that were just so cool. I have to go with the 80s, you know, because they wore makeup and did their hair. Yes. <laughs> I like the 80s hair bands. Who's your favorite 80s hair band? Um, that's a toss up. That's a toss up because I used to like Rat and Cinderella and, um, of course, Motley Crue. There was, um, Motley Crue was always my favorite 80s hair band. I liked them and I liked, uh, I like Bon Jovi because I really always thought John Bon Jovi. Yeah, I saw him in concert. Oh, I've seen yeah. him a couple of times. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, I, I got to agree with Bart too. Yeah, and I know he's not a hair band, but Judas Priest is pretty good. And I also, I'm a fan of Metallica. Yeah. See, and I'm an Iron Maiden fan. Mm -hmm. So there's I've that. Seen Iron Maiden in concert. Yep. Iron Maiden, Queens Reich. Well, Rob Halford now. Him? He was Judas Priest, he was a lead singer. Rob Halford, I saw him. Yeah. I've seen Judas Priest several times together, but Rob Halford, mm -hmm. I've seen twice. Um, yeah. Gosh, that is so hard. I couldn't say just one. Yeah, I've seen Def Leppard like six times in the. Uh, I did. i seen him with his arm and without his arm. What about you? Yep. Yep. Same. Me too. That's when you know you're a Def Leppard fan when you know how and he played before you know and after. Old. That's when you know you old. <laughs> <laughs> when you know you know. <laughs> yep. Well, was that when he had his arm or when he didn't have his arm? <laughs> yeah. That's when you know. <laughs> oh, here's another good one, Guns N' Roses. So let me tell you how old I am. So Guns N' Roses came to St. Louis, and they the very first time they came to St. Louis, they opened up for Aerosmith. I was at that concert. It was in 1987. They came back, I think it was two years later, to a different location in St. Louis, and there was a big riot. So Guns N' Roses actually got banned from St. Louis for many, many years. And they haven't been wow. back. And that was back in like 89 or 90, something like that. So pretty crazy. Well, yeah, because they, they act, I don't know what it was with those people, but they had to act stupid. Yeah. You know, when, when you say the SEGS, drugs and rock and roll they meant it they oh, yeah. meant it and they yeah. lived that lifestyle and they just had to go crazy i mean tearing up stuff and they, it's no wonder they got banned it's, i mean a yeah. lot of these people it's no wonder yep and you know what tears for fears i like tears for fears too uh, yes flock of seagulls come on right 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 yeah. oh my goodness this is a blast yeah. from the past yeah, I, it's it's funny. It's, well, uh, you know, and you gotta you gotta think about this way. Now, we we understand that that whole genre of of the rock bands and things, but we gotta take Meatloaf. Okay, I know he's passed. Yeah. Okay, I got that. 
But that man was a paranormal investigator. Yes, he was. He was cool as shit. And that I found so cool that he was interested in all of that. And he had such an open mind that it wasn't, you know, because you think a lot of these heavy metal bands and stuff were like satanic and, 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 and all these rituals. And that was not it. Yeah. That was not it. The, you know, especially for Meatloaf, he was curious about the the these the spirits and, and and what happens to you after death yeah. and and he was i mean i don't know i i'm and i mean i yeah. i must have missed a lot of that or they didn't advertise that about him but that was the coolest thing about him not mm -hmm. not not to mention i really loved his songs but um wow he was a yeah. really cool man yeah yep <laughs> randy says give me my john denver you know i kind of like john denver too just saying oh. Yeah, right, right. Because yeah. you know what? The right John Denver song comes on, you're going to sing it. You sure are. You sure are. Doesn't matter who you are, you're going to sing it. And Ozzy is one of my favorites. I love Ozzy. Rich says something about Ozzy here. I love Ozzy. Yeah. BMR says Super Tramp. Man, there's a lot of good people there. Cheap Trick. Cheap Trick. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I like Cheap Trick. Stevie Nicks, yep, that's a good one. She's a good oh, one. She's yeah. coming to St. Louis. Soon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Pantera. Well, I remember Pantera. Yep. Yeah. What about so Slayer cool. and Motorhead? And oh, um, yeah. oh my goodness. There's so many. There is just so many. So and Kevin says last year Guns N' Roses was gonna play St. Louis first time since the riot concert got canceled last minute. Yeah, wonder why it got canceled. Yeah. Uh maybe they thought better. Oh, there's White Snake. Yep, absolutely. Oh yeah, Kiss, Billy Idol. Ah, I can sit and talk here, music though. I like music. I'm a big music buff. You well, know? here, here I, you go with Kiss. Here's here. Mm -hmm. Here you go with Kiss is when you sing Kiss, and then you go to the farewell concert, mm -hmm. and then you go to their second. Farewell concert. Farewell concert. <laughs> you know you old. You know, and I got a t-shirt, uh, and, and I can't tell you which one. I think it was from the farewell concert. I got, I still got a t-shirt in there from that. Yeah. 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 Oh, heart. Oh, heart was great. I just saw them uh, with with a heart, Joan Jet, and um, White Snake is great. Yes. I, I don't know, but uh, I mean, they, they're still as good today as they were then. Still. Yeah. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. They're, they're amazing. Those women are amazing. They are. They are, man. They could rock a tune. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, who, who's your, who was your first concert? That would have probably been the one my mom took me to. And that would have been, you ready? Uh -huh. Rick Springfield. Oh, that's an oldie. I know. I was just I was just Jessie a wee Sturm. little girl. Yeah, I, yeah, I was just a wee little girl. And my mom took me to Rick Springfield. That's when he was still playing on the soap opera. What was that? General Hospital General or Hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. my gosh. Woof. Very cool. Yeah. No. You know, my first concert, my grandma went with my grandma and uh my friend Kelly, who we actually had on the show. We went and seen, um, my grandma was, you know, she liked the old country people. It was Willie Nelson. Well, there it is. I see, you know, Willie, when Willie was in his prime smoking his stuff. Yeah, when Willie was still Willie. <laughs> when Willie was still Willie. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right. You know, but I was blessed. I did get to the, the, the one chance to see Whitney Houston. I got to see her oh, cool. when she first, I, I think her, when her first album went is when I saw her. Yeah. You know, because she still had that short curly hair with the, the bob and it was kind of big. Yeah. She still had that. She was still very young when I saw her. That was way before Bobby Brown. Yeah. So, yep. yeah. What was the worst concert you ever seen? I've got two. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't think I have a worse concert. I mean, well, that I, I would consider bad. 
I've got two that were awful. Okay, Actually, tell three. me what are your two because three. I don't think I have any. I've got three that were awful. So my first awful one was MC Hammer. He came to I St. Louis see that. with All for One, and I don't I don't even know the band. So my my friend Kelly. We, we did a lot of concerts together and she was a big fan of, you know, can't touch this. So uh -huh. yeah, we'll go. We went to all the concerts back in the eighties together. And so right. we went to this concert and um, I fell asleep. I kid you not. I fell asleep at MC Hammer concert. Slept right there. Oh, wow. Yeah. So to me, if you're going to put me to sleep at a concert, that's pretty bad. Just got to. Yeah. Sleep. Well, I can see that. I can see that. But, you know, I mean, I got a little sleepy when I went to go see Ario Speedwagon and ELO. Well, see, I seen Ario at Six Flags and they were good. Yeah. But I, I got a little tired during that. I don't know why. But, um, I mean, ELO was really good and, and Ario Speedwagon was. But I think they were playing too many ballads. Like, <laughs> just too yeah. close together and i was like wait this is this is too this is such a downer i can't do this right i right. got really relaxed for about a half hour yeah so another bad concert i had and this might surprise people but i thought that he was awful and this was back in i guess it was it was in the 90s it was alan jackson he was awful he just stood there he didn't do anything he was terrible he had no, no showmanship whatsoever nothing. Nothing. No, it was it was a bad concert. And and believe it or not, I got to tell you guys. So this was when um, Taylor Swift first came out. She was on the country. Yes. Yes. Yeah. She opened for him. She was good. He was awful. Ah. He was awful. And and that I'm sorry if that shocks anybody, because I know there's a lot of Alan Jackson fans out there and I do like his music. I just don't like him in concert. He was ah. bad. Yeah. He was bad. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know, right? Pretty disappointing, isn't it? That is disappointing. But I'll tell you another bad one that was really bad. And and I just seen him a couple years ago. It was uh, Hank Williams Jr. See, I, I don't do country. I don't do country. So I do both country and rock. And and I well, let me tell you, Hank Williams Jr. came with Kid Rock, and you know, Kid Rock is one of my favorites. So awesome. that's why yeah. I was there. So Hank Jr. Right. opened for Kid Rock. However, Hank Jr. was so stuck on himself. It was just awful. I'm like, you know, when's he going to go off? I'm ready for Kid Rock. Now, Kid Rock made up for what Hank Jr. lacked in. Yes. Kid Rock yes. was awesome. I mean, he was honestly he one has, of the best concerts I've he, been to. He does have a stage presence. Yes, he yes, does. Yes, he does. Absolutely. So, yes. um, yeah, Hank Jr. was was. He was awful. Yeah. yeah so you know who was disappointing? I'm, I'm going to think, I'm going to tell you this now. I'm, I'm Now I've got it. Now I've got it. Now that I'm thinking back and I'm thinking about this, this young guy, he's still, he's still real young and yeah. uh, he's such a big name in music right now. And he has mixed reviews and I saw him before he made it big, big. And that yeah. was Machine Gun Kelly. Oh yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't like his stage presence. It was like he was yelling and screaming and running all over the stage. And I'm like, I yeah. can't even, I, I, I don't know what's happening. Right. You right. know, it's just, I, you couldn't understand him. And I'm just like, this is horrible. This is horrible. <laughs> but see, this is where I used to go to Memphis in May every year. Mm -hmm. And when their lineups were, were, were good, when they had really good lineups like Kid Rock, when they'd have all these mm -hmm. people there, that's when it was the time to go. Now they're just, you know, and it's kind of wishy-washy every year or something different. You don't even know. But I got spoiled by that because I had three days of full-on concerts, big names every single day. So I, I did get to see a bunch then. But I don't go anymore because, like I said, for number one, it's so expensive down there. I can't even afford to go anymore anyway. And number two, yeah. I don't feel safe as I used to. And um, plus, I they're one of something. I want to address something. Okay. I don't know who you're calling bitches, Shepard. If it's directed towards us, just get off our show and don't watch it. Uh, just block him. Okay. Just block him right now. Get it done. 
Yeah. We're not going to put up with it. I, I said it before in other shows. We're just not going to have it. Goodbye. Yeah. I'm like, we're just, whatever. We're just talking about stuff, you know. Yeah. We're just, just, just getting going. I just, yeah. We're just, we're just not going to put up with it. And I said it before on another show, you know, I mean, turn it off, go to, go to another channel, do something yeah. else. Don't watch us. Yeah. But you know, that's, yeah, that's don't be fun. calling me a bitch on my own show. Oh. <laughs> Just say it. Call, me, call me what you want to, but you're going to have to call me that over there because you ain't calling that me to right. me right here. Sorry right. about it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just seen that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> We're not really complaining. We're just having conversation and we thought we would interact with everybody else, too, and just talk about you know, different things. So yeah, just different things, you know, because we sit and we, we talk about, you know, the cryptids and we talk about ghosts and we talk about that stuff all the time, but it was funny. And she's like, well, why don't we just talk about stuff and, and, and talk about everybody in chat? We get to know everybody better, you know? Right. Just talk about random stuff. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. That's what I mean. Just, just talk about stuff. Yeah. Just keep it light. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's just like people just want to complain. And I'm whatever. We're just talking about things that we didn't think that was good. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no big deal. No big deal. I got another question for you. Uh-oh. Spaghetti or fettuccine? Red or white sauce? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we all know I like to carve out. Yeah, I like I to carve know. out. I do too. I know your answer already. I'm going to say the red sauce. I'm going to say the red sauce just because I can make so many different dishes with it. That's all. That's yeah. my only thing. I like them both, mm -hmm. but I can make a lot more different things with the red sauce. What's yeah. yours? I already know it. Uh, I kind of like the white sauce. I know it. Mm -hmm. She is an Alfredo lady, everyone. Yeah. She loves the Alfredo. Mm -hmm. I mean, we go anywhere. What you want? Oh, I, I don't know what I want. And then next thing you know, okay, I'll have the Alfredo. Okay. Yep. Absolutely, <laughs> sister. Here, Nellie says, Alfredo with angel hair pasta. I'm right with you, girlfriend. <laughs> she is. She is. I mean, we go anywhere. She she can't make up her mind, can't up make her. But I said we should have just ordered the Alfredo to begin with and been done. <laughs> Mickey doesn't <laughs> like either. <laughs> yep. Oh, I, I, somebody doesn't like either or? Yeah, Mickey What's doesn't it? like either or. Oh, my goodness. Do you like pasta at all? And if you do, yeah. what? How do you eat it? Because I want to know. Right, right. Is there another way <laughs> without white or red sauce? <laughs> right. Well, maybe there's like you know, there's different sauces. I know my dad makes this pasta. It's really good. I don't know what he puts in it, but mm -hmm. it's kind of like a. I don't know. He uses like lemon and butter, and I don't know. It's just really good. And he puts in like some vegetables and stuff. And it's some kind of sauce, but I don't know what it is. And he uses he uses white wine. Oh yeah, yeah. They got white it's wine good. or red wine sauce. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's really a different good. taste. It's mm -hmm. a different taste, but it is very good. Yeah, I like it. it. But then again, you say pasta, and I'm like, okay. Don't yeah. even tell me what kind. I'm like, okay. I don't yeah, care. Exactly. Throw it on my plate. I'm good. Right. Yeah. Oh, Bristol says scampi. Maybe that's what it is because you know what? It does have shrimp in it. Duh. <laughs> Ah, well, yeah, there you yeah. go. There you go. So anyway, my dad's a good cook though. So right. Mickey says, Mickey says, I don't like pasta. I'm very odd. Yeah, that is odd. I thought that is odd. Pasta. I, that, that is odd because, you know, um, but you're not the only one. You're not the only one, no. you know, no. um, but aren't we all odd? That's why we're we here. Are. Here's a good, another good question. <laughs> That's why we're here. <laughs> Here's another good question. Thick or okay. thin or thick style pizza? Oh, you know what? I like the thinner stuff. I like the ingredients more than the, the bread. I like all the ingredients. Sometimes I'll okay. even take the stuff and scrape it off the bread and just eat the mm -hmm. cheese and the meat and the vegetables. I'll do that instead. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I like I like the cheese and the meat and the vegetables in pizza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Letitia, I think that's, so really that's good. she really does hate pizza. She does not like pizza, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is odd to me because I thought everybody likes pizza. You know. All right, right. 
<laughs> okay. This is the one you said earlier to me, but you didn't tell everybody else, but I'm going to ask you now. Okay. Freddie or Jason? Oh. Oh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Jason. I like the old classic, the original classic. Yeah. Friday, you know, but I, I, yeah, like I can see that. What was it either late seventies, early eighties when the first one came out? I think it was. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was eighties. Yeah. When that, when that particular Things you know, started. Honestly, when, when Freddie came out, it was in the 80s. I do remember that because I do remember watching the very first one. Um, the very, very first one. And Freddie just scared the crap out of me. Like I couldn't yeah. even look at them posters. You know how do you remember back in the day when you would see Freddie posters with the nail? Yes. Oh, oh, I couldn't even look at them. Yes. Oh, JD Smooth says Michael Myers. That's a good one, too. Yeah, see, I don't know what's worse. Mm -hmm. Somebody in a mask chasing me around a, 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 like a Boy Scout camp or a guy in a mask with a knife chasing me around the neighborhood or there's Freddie who won't let me sleep. Right. I, 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 I can't make up my mind. <laughs> right. Well, I'm with you on that. I, I have no idea. I don't know. And I always, I guess it was, it was Freddie that scared me the most. Mm -hmm. Um. Because like I said, you, you didn't want to go to sleep. And it's not only that, the music from those yeah. movies drove me in, it just insane. Well, wasn't it? Do you remember? Because I think it was, it was Friday the 13th. It was the kill, 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 kill. Do you remember that? Kill, kill. Oh, and it was. Yeah. Yes. 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 Mm hmm yeah, and then it's one, two, Friday's coming for you. And I'm like, oh, yep. my God, stop singing that song. <laughs> I know, right? Stop <laughs> it. Yeah, that, that's... I, it was just so eerie, I, you know, and and it, it's crazy because the things that we've seen our whole entire life right. and these movies that we know are fake scare us. But the stuff that really happens right. in real life doesn't. Right. Isn't that crazy? I just never understood that. And it's kind of like the same thing today with the state of our society, you know, and, and um, of course, you know, the person we just booted off is, is a prime example of people like that and their negativity plus the drug use and blah, 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 that I'm more scared of people nowadays mm -hmm. than I am of anything cryptid or anything remotely paranormal. Right. Isn't that weird? That it is like weird. Cause still, like to sit there and watch a Freddy movie, I'd still kind of be creeped out. I I don't watch them. I don't see now. I used to be. I used to be a very big Stephen King fan, and I still am. I just don't get to read him as much because you know I've discovered many other authors and in other interests. So, um, and I could read one of his books and go to sleep. I'd be fine with reading any of his stuff. Even, well, I'm not going to say that. Even it scared me a little bit. And the book was way yeah. worse than the movie, everyone. The book was um, great. Yes. It, I but do it like still scared Stephen me. King. I do. Yeah, it scared me a little bit. You know, and I loved him in it because he, he's such a great author that even when his books become movies, he's always got a cameo in something. In, in you know, yeah. um, it, it, it's, just, it's just amazing how he does that, you know, that he's still going and, and doing these things. It's And Odd Thomas is, um, it's not a new series of his, but it's, it's quite intriguing to me because it talks about um, these things. And, and, and I want to say they're from the underworld and they're, uh, they, they, they go around and kill people. They, they come up and they, mm -hmm. they attack you from the ground and they kill you, you know, kind of remember like Tommy knockers. Oh my God, there's another one. But oh, I mean, yeah. So Ah uh, Thomas, which he has, he's a he's a seer of, of of these things, and he can see them coming. And what he yeah. does is he just closes his eyes. So when he sees them coming, he closes them because if if he don't see them, they don't mess with him. Yeah, 
So he, he'll just close his eyes or he'll hide or he'll do all these other kind of things. Um, but it's very interesting book series. So if you've seen that mm -hmm. or, you know, one of his book, Odd Thomas, mm -hmm. read it, read it. And, and I think a movie came out about it too, Odd Thomas. Watch that too. It's Stephen King. It's called Odd Thomas. Hawk asks, it's, it's uh, do, do clowns scare you? I do not like them. So I do not like them. Don't bother me a bit. And and it's only because I, I think of them along the realms of dolls too. Um, mm -hmm. Because remember, what what it was that famous clown? Emmett... Um, Kelly. How, it was a Kelly, Emmett Kelly. Emmett, I'll Google. Emmett. It, yeah, is a very famous clown. And he was, he was, uh, there was a whole bunch of portraits of him and uh, they made dolls of him. Emmett and, Kelly. I just Googled. Emmett Kelly. Mm -hmm. And um, I always thought they looked creepy. Yeah. I just, so, I, I'm just not a big fan. I've got a, no, I've got a picture kid. out in my garage that it freaks my kids out because my kids aren't into clowns either, but it's never bothered me. And I think this is why. So my, my dad, he, he used to paint a lot and my dad mm -hmm. painted this huge picture of a clown and mm -hmm. it's, it's a big, big ass picture and I've mm -hmm. got it and I have to keep it in the garage because nobody here at my house likes it. That's not my dad. <laughs> so I've never, I've seen the picture my whole life. So clowns have never bothered me. Do you remember Bozo the clown? Do you remember the Bozo? Oh, story? that creepy one? Yeah, he was creepy. Yeah, yeah. he is creepy. Yeah. I, so, I don't I don't know what it was. I think it was his wig, you know, that whole swoop thing that it did. I, no. Yeah. Yeah. no. No. So I'm, I'm and not, um I, I don't know. I just I just I get good. creeped out by him. Do dolls scare you? Yes. Do they? Only if I have to sleep in a room full of them. Yeah. You know, and I'm, I'm going to take that back even further. I'm going to take that and I'm going to tell you why I don't like dolls. Okay. Trilogy of Terror. <laughs> if anybody has seen Trilogy of Terror and that little doll that they had that had the chains on it and then it was running around trying to stab the lady and screaming and no. Yeah. <laughs> it's just nope. And they yeah. just had a little doll. And I was like, no. Nope. <laughs> so if anybody see Sugar Sugar Bridges says, great movie. No. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, Kim says, uh, serial killer documentaries freaked me out, made me aware the world is not what I thought it was. That's very true. Very true. But I have to and tell that's, you. And that's, that's mine and Chris's bedtime stories. Yeah. We, we actually turn the ID channel on and go to bed. Go to bed. Yep. Yeah. It we'll watch it till we go to sleep. <laughs> it is true story. Well, we are at the eight thirty mark. Wow, this is oh, going really fast. It has, and I've enjoyed you know talking with everybody and watching yeah. everybody's comments. It's been a lot of fun. It um, it's it's good to it gets it's good to get to know the people in chat and everything. I'm sorry we had some. I'm going to say it, an idiot on there, and yeah. um, but that's what we're all trying to avoid. Like I said, I'm just, I've said it before. I'm not going to put up with it again, or you're just going to get banned. So we don't have to put up with yeah. it. We can have adult conversations and talk about anything on this channel. So right. I want to make sure come everybody's on our show and call us bitches. I'm just saying, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, I really don't care about it. It's like, yeah. look, you know, whatever. You could call me whatever you want. You're just going to just do it over there. That's it. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, yeah, we definitely appreciate everybody tuning in. And we just wanted to keep it light and fun and really not have a topic, you know. So um, Nellie says, it's up to you, Brandy. Wolf said he won't be ready till nine. So if we want to keep going, please do. What do you guys, if you guys oh, want please. us to go for, yeah, we can we can keep going. We can still go. We can still go yeah. for a little bit. We'll, we'll do another 15 minutes and give him time just in case he does come on early. Yeah. We can go another 15 minutes. And it's okay. not going to hurt nothing. You Why know, not? we just want to make sure we're out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, we we enjoy everybody in chat, and we enjoy meeting enjoy meeting everybody, and and when we do, and and uh, so we just wanted to keep this just fun, you know, just a fun show, kind of get to know you guys, you guys get to know us type thing. Exactly. So when you come see us, then you can think of you'll say, hmm, chocolate chip or macadamia white chocolate. Chocolate chip. <laughs> you know? chocolate chip. What about you? Well, I know your answer because you you can't do chocolate. Right. I'm white chocolate macadamia. Um, yes. But that's always been one of my favorites. So 
but you know, there's nothing like a warm chocolate chip cookie. I'm yeah. just saying. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's another question here. Paranormal Paul said, what's your favorite sport? Oh, Lord. Uh, I, I guess my favorite sport is hockey. Um, I, I, I grew up on hockey. I've watched hockey. Um, I, I, I love hockey. Mm -hmm. I, I just think it's fun because I don't, I, um, I just, I just enjoy it. I just, yeah. I just enjoy it more than the NFL. I mean, if I had to choose football, it would definitely be college. It wouldn't be the NFL. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'm going to say hockey. Yeah. Hockey's hockey. You, you get a little bit of everything with hockey. You get some sport and you get some fighting, you know, it's all good. <laughs> you get some boxing, you know, you get some, you get some good stuff. You get you know, some good says stuff. monster trucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually like, uh, and it's kind of, you know, it's a sport, but I like rodeos. You know, I've been to a couple and it has been a very long time. I'm going to say uh, about 15 years or longer since I've been to one. And yeah. that sounds like fun. I mean, they have the the rodeo over here quite a bit. They have it every year um, in Sykeston. They have yeah. it in Sykeston. And um, I just don't go. Yeah. Yeah, I like I I usually try to hit several rodeos a year. We got a lot of them around us, and you know, mm -hmm. we're around a lot of saddle clubs and stuff. So I, I like to hit the little saddle clubs and hit the little small, you know, high school rodeos and stuff like that. They're fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's. I get a cool. little nervous though. I got to tell you, like the bull riding, some of some of those I can't watch because like when they come off, then bulls ha don't have any mercy on them people. And no, if they're kids, you know, that just and I, I've seen, uh, you know, kid rodeos with, uh, you know, high schoolers and stuff. And, and, mm -hmm. and they use some pretty big bulls for them, high schoolers. And and um, yeah, just really a lot of times I'm like, oh, tell me when they're off. Tell me if they're OK. And I'll look away, you know, because I don't right. see, see anybody get hurt. Obviously. You know, my favorite is watching the kids ride sheep. Oh, that's cute. Olivia, that is that. my favorite. Yep. That's my favorite. Yep. yep. The sheep riding. Yep. For sure. Yeah. I love that. You know, they try to stay on these sheep and I really dig it. I mean, it's their, you know, it's how they introduce them to, you know, some wild right. riding. And, and, and yeah, that, that, that what I would have to say is my favorite. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Watching the kids. I don't want to watch the adults. Yeah. I'm like Poncho, competitive napping. Oh, that's my sport. <laughs> that is my sport right there. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, like, so before the show, I didn't realize I was so tired, but I guess I was. I came home and and I slept for like three and a half hours before the show. <laughs> so and I didn't have know. time. I, I worked 10 hours and then I got home, I ate dinner. And then the next thing you know, because I have my alarm set for mm -hmm. to give me time to get ready. And I know when I have to get ready. So my alarm went off and I was like, I'm still eating dinner. I was like, yeah. How does that happen? <laughs> yeah, I just got you. home. I'm still eating dinner and my alarm's going off to, to go get ready. I'm like, yeah. oh, man. Yeah, I hear yeah. you. So well, what about, okay, here's another question. If you could go anywhere in America. Let's keep it in America. Okay. Visit for, say, a week. Where would you go? If I could go anywhere to visit? It's on your bucket list. It's what they call the four corners mm -hmm. down there with New Mexico, um, Colorado. Um, what else is down there in that corner? I'm not thinking straight right now. Um, Utah, maybe. No, it's um, it's in Arizona. Hold on, what's the four corners? Somebody should know the four corners. I know, I know where you're talking though. It's Colorado. Yeah, it's right. It's right um, there in in the southwest. Yeah. Um. Oh my God. Paul's got one there. I know it was Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico. What's the other one? It's one more. Is it is it Utah or Nevada or Texas or something? Maybe I'm not really too sure what's there. Uh. Oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna have to look it up because I I I know better. I know better and I can't think of it right now. Yeah. Um, somebody to come up with it. Arizona, New Mexico. 
Yep. Utah, Colorado. There, there it is. is. There thank it you, is. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you. Um, the, the only reason why is because I heard it's very um, spiritual when it comes to Native American culture. And um, it's supposed to be kind of therapeutic. And wow. I, I would like to go to, to, to stand on the spot to say I've standed, I stood in four states at one time. Yeah. That's what I want to do. You yeah, know, be and because cool. I, I think that would be really cool. You know, that would be cool. I would like to do Alaska. It's just like, it's just beautiful. That there. too. You know, that too. You know, I'd love to do an Alaskan cruise. I, mm. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, I was going to say, that's the luxurious way to go about it. Yeah. Well, well you know, I don't fly. I don't like to fly. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, that is true. So if Krista I'm going to get there, I got to drive over to my boat. <laughs> Load the car on the boat. Just drive to the boat and then go. Yeah. Um, no, I would like to really, um, like Alex Petikoff had done, um, where he's he's driving through and he's yes. seeing this amazing scener scenery, mm -hmm. and that's what I want to see. You know, Absolutely. I want to see that. Yeah. Now that oh heck yeah, we would do that. We do road trips. But you know, I mean, if if we're talking about Alaska, I would also like to go to Alaska and investigate the Alaskan Triangle. Just saying. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see a grizzly bear from a safe distance, of course. But you know, you know. Yeah. You know, yeah, grizzly in the wild. No. <laughs> so no, I have not. Now I've seen a black bear. Oh yeah, black but bear. I have, I have never seen a grizzly, and um, that would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> See, Kim says my my favorite road trip is my house. <laughs> Oh yeah, Port Lock in Alaska. Yes. Okay. Yes, Devin, my friend. Yes. See now, that's mm -hmm. what I'm talking. About. That's the Alaska I'm talking about, right there. Yeah. We actually had a long conversation with Adam Davies about Port Lock. He's been there. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. We talked about that. So yeah, I would love to do that. I'm just trying to read through chat, see what everybody else is say saying. They've been around grizzlies. A lot of people have seen grizzlies and been around grizzlies. I haven't. I've seen I've seen black bears. Well, I've seen, I've seen a, a grizzly in captivity. Here. I've seen a grizzly in captivity, but it's you know yeah, I understand that that's a grizzly, but it's not the same. It no, is not, not the same. It's not. Yeah, I seen, you know I, I just I can't see that. Yeah. Loria says lived in lived only in two states, Texas and Indiana. I actually have only, I've lived in Missouri and I lived in Kansas for a little while. Brandy, how many states you lived in? I know you've been all over and countries. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. And wow, uh, I can't count them right now. Like I'll have to take off my socks and start counting my toes. Um, I've, I've, I've lived in several, several states. I mean, actually Missouri has been the place that I've lived the longest in my whole entire life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've lived in Missouri most of my, most of my life, but I've been all over Missouri, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, my parents weren't afraid to, to explore and, and to, you know, get to these other states. So, I mean, we went all the way to California and back, you know, um, mm -hmm. East coast to West coast, North yeah. to South. We've been everywhere. So, I mean, there are still some States that I have not been to, but there's not yeah. many. Yeah. BMR. I put the comment up. He said, I'd like to go to Ohio. visit. I'd like to visit Ohio one day. You got to explain that more often because then somebody else said, uh, Suji says, big, but Michigan Rob, you may be the first person who ever said that. Oh, he said, that's a joke. That's hilarious. Yeah. Cause he don't <laughs> live, but, a jump from Ohio. Right. right. Saying. Ooh, this would be a cool place. Cool and Hand. he doesn't live that far from Canada either. Yeah. Cool Hand says Tombstone, Arizona. That would be a cool place to go visit. That would be that, but that would be more of a historical thing for me. I think that yeah. place has been over hunted for me for in, in, oh, in yeah. I'm not talking going ghost hunting. I'm talking just and visiting it, and doing like the history tour. Yeah. That's the history tour. Of it. Yeah. yeah. That would be awesome. 
that would be that awesome. Would be fantastic. That would be a cool place. I'm but all I mean, about everything, though. Like, something we could drive to, Krista. Something we could drive to. I, I'm, I'm telling you, the Four Corners. That's, yeah, it would be fun. Yeah. And and I'm talking about to history. I yeah, to there's Gettysburg too. Um, I just we just have to figure out what an off season is because geez, oh, pizza is so expensive there. Yeah. I know, but just to go visit, I think that would be awesome and see where, okay. you know, like I said, I'm a huge, I'm a huge history fan. And just to go stand there on that battlefield, I don't know. It would just it's so right. sad. But yet, like, I don't know, just to honor those people that that died. I mean, there was kids and families and just, you know, just so sad, you know. Well, you know, one place I haven't been in in, in talking about that stuff is Hawaii and to Pearl Harbor. See, I, well, I'd like to go to Pearl Harbor, but I have no interest in going to Hawaii. I, I, I yeah. can figure out better, cheaper places to go that I'd have more fun at. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So, so mountains are ocean for you. But the mountains have like lakes or water oh, yeah. streams. Mountains have lakes. <laughs> Okay, we can do the mountains then. I mean, because I love both. I love both, but I'm a water girl. I have to have some type of water, and I don't care if it's salt or fresh. Um, mm -hmm. But it has to be one or the other. But I, I like the mountains more, um, mm -hmm. only because it seems like it's more untouched. Like it hasn't been uh, trampled over by millions of people. You know what I'm saying? Sure. It's just It's just like you could breathe mm -hmm. easier. And then I don't have to worry about hurricanes and... Really not about tornadoes either. Just have to worry about snow. Yeah. No, That's I, get it. That. I get that. I get that. I'm I'm actually a mountain person. I I uh I I've been to the ocean. I've been, you know, several, several times. And mm -hmm. there is just things in the ocean that will kill you. And they have yeah. no mercy. So I have I have no use for the for the ocean. So give me a pool, I'm great. Give me a give me a, a river or something like that. I'm great. Just don't give me the ocean. <laughs> I have, I have, yeah, I'll, I'll take any of it. Honestly, I, 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 I'm a, I'm a water girl, so it, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah. I get that. I get that. I'm just, you know, I've been to Florida several times and honestly, I have no use to go back. I mean, what's in Florida? You, you got, you got, uh, it, it's, 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 it's a tourist trap. Mm hmm you know, in the months that you would want to be there. I mean, for the best weather, um, it's a tourist truck. It, it really is. It used to not be that way. You could get to some places in Florida at one time where, you know, where it was decent. You could get, mm -hmm. a, you know, run a little, uh, like a little whole rinky dink hotel there and, and uh, spend your days at the beaches where they weren't overly crowded. Now it's just, it's just so much. I can't. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't you know, do it. Another place that I would love to visit and I think would be beautiful is the state of Maine. And like they have all the, um, I don't know. I, I just think Maine is a beautiful state. And you're I, right. I you're right. There. You know, my dad, my dad was there and I'm going to tell you, yeah, 30 years ago. I'm going to say he went 30 years ago to, to, to Maine. And mm -hmm. that's just a guesstimation because I don't remember. What they say really the lighthouses and stuff in Maine are just, you know, there's so many. I, I don't know. I just well, love the kind of stuff. Now, let, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But he said Maine was just beautiful. It yeah. was just beautiful. And if you want, if you love seafood, yeah, that's where you go. That's where you go to get your seafood. But I want to tell you yeah. this. When I flew into Boston, I flew into Boston, and you're talking about Lighthouse. They have all these little rocky areas as you're coming in in the, in the bay. And they have all these rocky areas and they're kind of spread out. Yeah. But on each one of them, there's a lighthouse that was so cool to see. Yeah, you know, I didn't you. get to see them at nighttime lit up, but coming in on the airplane, I got pictures of it somewhere, but coming in on the airplane, you're right. I would love to see those up close. Just take a boat and just drive yeah. around and, yeah, and check them out. Awesome. We have one more question here. We'll, we'll uh, answer that really quick and then we'll get off here and because Paranormal Roundtable is going to be on. Um, Danny right. says, what's your favorite animal? Uh, 
Oh my goodness. That just that just took me ever. I was stumped. I have a couple. So I used to be a dog person and I do have dogs now. However, mm -hmm. dogs require a lot of work and a lot of maintenance. So I have turned into a cat person. A cat, you can clean their litter box, give them enough food and water for a weekend, and you can go. A, mm -hmm. a, a dog is baggage, and you have to come up with somebody to watch dogs, let them out, or this or that. So mm -hmm. I have turned into a cat person. Mm -hmm. Now, I do have horses, so I do I do like my horses. But honestly, I I don't ride them myself anymore. I used to. I grew up riding. I was raised with horses. My dad's had them my whole life. Um, right. I don't ride anymore, but I do love to sit outside and just watch them out in the pasture. So I would say those are my top two would be cats now and horses. What about yeah. you? I like them all. I can't. I can't. They, they're, they're so cool because each species has its own little quirks. And I love them, and uh, mm -hmm. I can't. I can't say. I, I really. Yeah. I really can't say because I've had cats that I simply adored, and I've had dogs that I simply adored. Mm -hmm. I had a bird that was just uh, so cool, you know. And I've had raccoons, and I've had all kinds of animals, all kinds of yeah, animals growing. I have to. And my thing is, is that um, I can't. I can't say what I like best. Yeah. You know, because dogs are high maintenance, uh, you know, because they, you know, they, they live in your house and they're high maintenance. But yeah. um, I'm, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go with dogs. I'm going to have to go with dogs. Yeah. See, um, I, when my dogs go, I I tell everybody I will never get another dog. I won't. They're just, mm -hmm. like I said, they're just so high maintenance. I'm, I've really turned into a cat person. <laughs> just yeah. Just you know, I... You can go away for a weekend and you don't have to, you know. All right. I mean, I probably won't ever get any more animals after after mm -hmm. I have these. Just just because I'm getting to that age, you know, I'm just I'm, yeah. I'm just pretty much done. It's not that I don't like them. It's just I'm getting to the age where I have to leave and, and be gone so much right. that I don't have time for these animals. But, you know, nothing nothing is ever more glad to see me than any dog I've ever owned. Yeah. You know what I mean? Any dog that that, uh, that that I had was just happy happy that I was there. No matter no matter what dog, it, it was always happy. Cats, my cats are like, eh, she's home. Or hey, feed me. You know, right. that's well, what see, I got from the cat. My cat, I don't know. I kind of like her. She's very independent, and I like that. When she's ready to be pet, she'll mm -hmm. come to me, you know, and that's fine. Yeah. That's on her terms, but that's how I am, too. Like, you know, when I'm ready to be talked to, I'll come to you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My cat reminds yeah. me of myself. So, yeah. I, I, you know, but like yeah. I said, I do love my dogs. I have three dogs. I have a um, blue healer. I have mm -hmm. a dog who is uh, Kringle. He is part um, miniature Australian Shepherd and part Poodle. And then I have my 200 pound English Mastiff. And I love all three of them. Yeah, truly. Yeah. I truly do. <laughs> However, I'm done with dogs. When these three are gone, don't. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah, don't tell the other ones, but Haas is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, Haas is a good boy. He's a good boy. Haas is my favorite. He, only my because, you know, yeah, th well, it's only because he loves everybody, and he don't yes. care who you are. He loves you. He, <laughs> He's he like, loves all pets. animals, all people. He's an awful yeah. watchdog. He just, he yeah, just, <laughs> terrible watchdog. He is. Scare the crap on, out of you if you walk up on him in the dark. But <laughs> Yeah. Yep. And but, a lot of times, you know, he'll be, he, he lays next to me. And uh, when we're doing the, uh, doing these shows, a lot of times, and he'll start snoring, I'll be like, man, I hope you guys can't hear him snoring because. Oh, my goodness. We got one. Devin just sent me a message. He uh -huh. said, what pyramids, Mayan or Egyptian? I just saw it. Ooh. Ooh. That's tough. That's a good one, too. Because I haven't seen either. Now I've been to uh, to Mexico, but I never got to the pyramids. Um, I'm gonna say Egyptian for myself. I'm gonna say Egyptian too. I'm mm -hmm. gonna say Egyptian too. Um, only because they're they're more elaborate from from the pictures that I've looked looked at. They're 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 just gigantic. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? They're yeah. just huge. And yeah. um, I did get to see, I went to, I went to this one um, exhibit and it was Ramses the Great. Um, mm -hmm. And they brought all these things from the pyramid that they, they, they um, set them up in different places. It was like a, a moving museum. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and their exhibit would move from state to state or city to city. And so I got to see it and I got these headphones. I put these headphones on and you start at the point A and then you just wear the headphones all the way through this mm -hmm. thing. And it's telling you all about it. And I'm, I was so amazed by, by mm -hmm. what had been saved and what it looked like and what these hieroglyphics mean and, and what this meant. And, and I was just, like I said, I was hooked right then. Yeah. I would say yeah. Egyptian for sure. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Well, we are actually uh, coming up to almost nine o'clock and um, I wanna encourage everybody to go over to Paranormal Roundtable. Josh is getting ready to go on at nine and um, there's always a good show, good guest. He always has on Friday night. So um, yes. definitely encourage everybody to go over there because guess what? We'll be over there and chat and uh, yeah, go, su go support the PRT family and show them some love. And uh, we appreciate everybody. This has been a fun show. We just, like I said yes. earlier, we just, uh, you know, kind of like to get to know everybody and, and uh, you know, same thing. Everybody get to know us a little bit and, and uh, yeah, kind of go from there. I'm glad everybody stuck with us and chatted with us. It was great to see your answers and everything. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. So yeah, it was fun show, fun show. But so. next week, next week, next Thursday, 8 PM central. Don't forget to tune in. We have, who Shane Michael Crisp is coming on from a West Coast Dogman, and he's always a joy. We love him. He's yes, high we energy. Him. Yes. yes, and great stories. So don't forget next Thursday at eight PM. Tune in, and we'll see everybody then. Yeah, and and Josh will be co-hosting again with us. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, we'll have Josh. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a given now. Josh yeah. is the permanent fixture. Just face it, permanent fixture. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's it. <laughs> so, anyway, so we'll see everybody next week. Yep. We'll see everybody next week. And uh, actually we'll see everybody in Josh's chat. PRT's chat. Yeah. So good night, everybody. See, see ya. Good night.